Hello, I'm Jennifer Witt, Director of ProjectManager.com. Well, welcome to our whiteboard session today on project management for IT, better known as information technology. So if you found yourself at the helm of an IT project, here are some of the things that we commonly find are five key issues and some other areas that make IT projects so complex. So if you look at a project, as we remember, a project is has a specific beginning and end date, and it's typically done to produce a business or meet a business objective and produce a unique product or service. And for each project, there are business deliverables being generated, there are product or services uh, deliverables being generated, as well as project management deliverables. In this case, the product being IT, information technology. And there's so many different areas depending upon the type of IT project you're managing. So some of the areas are there's firmware involved, so the firmware, that the hardware, if you happen to be dealing with a hardware uh, project, so there's firmware, there's maybe a web or website component, there may be content, um, databases, there's an infrastructure, an underlying infrastructure that the IT uh, runs on, there may be network components or internet or any kind of uh, network components, there's a security aspect, a storage, like where we're going to store this information, and most commonly a disaster recovery area. So these all, each of these deliverables or areas are pretty complex in themselves. Uh, many times the, the project manager may be managing the entire project. So they're managing maybe someone who is responsible for the business objective um, deliverables, the product or IT deliverables, as well as they're also delivering the project management deliverables. And if they're managing the entire thing, they may be responsible for each of these components as well, or there may be one or multiple people managing each one of these components or deliverables. So with the IT or information technology projects, we find there are five key issues that are commonly encountered with these type of projects to be considered. Number one, there's typically multiple vendors or partners. So there are multiple vendors who may be supplying the infrastructure like servers or any kind of hardware components. There may be different uh, vendors who are providing the databases or firmware, any of these components. There could be a different company, vendor, or partner. And with that, for every different one, there generally becomes different expectations. Each vendor, or partner, or e every partner comes with their own expectations, their assumptions, or constraint that must be captured, incorporated in the overall uh, project charter or project plan. Number two, changing versions and releases. So as you can see, there are multiple components going on and specifically with IT, you know it changes so rapidly between hardware um, improvements or enhancements coming along, even the firmware or software. So in the middle of a project, an IT project, which can last some time, then typically some of these things are changing versions or releases um, that, that have to be uh, incorporated, so constantly monitor because you don't want to find yourself uh, developing or implementing this um, on an old version that something sometimes aren't supported if they go so far back. And then there are complex dependencies. So as you can see of all these components, uh, there are complex dependencies, specifically the underlying infrastructure must be laid and sometimes if there are delays or risk or any kind of a risk to receiving the infrastructure by a specific timeline that can impact some of the other deliverables. If the databases aren't um, um, created or refreshed or populated in time, that can impact other components. If the firmware is out of date or sometimes has bugs, uh, many times teams may have one person who's designated just to monitor bugs or bug fixes for the firmware or other components. And then disaster recovery. Many times disaster recovery, once the disaster recovery plan has been made, uh, an actual um, execution of that has to be done to test it. So there are some complex dependencies that have to be monitored and tracked along the way. And then the integrated testing. As each of these components are built out, then there needs to be uh, testing for each of these components, but then an overall integrated testing, as you can see, with the complex dependencies that can be difficult at times and making sure all of the people are available 
your resources who, who are providing these areas, the resources are available at the time you begin doing your integrated testing. And then number five, most importantly, is the support. So if you have issues with any one of these areas that may be represented or provided by a vendor or other partner, making sure you have support. So if something goes wrong and you do have a risk or you do need something escalated, that they get escalated in a timely manner. So as you can see, this is just an overall high level uh, pictorial of an information technology project and they can get very complex. And depending upon which area you may be managing, you know, it, it gets very complex. So these are some of the things that we wanted to highlight, the key areas to look for, and we hope that this helps you out in managing your information technology project. So if you need a tool to help you manage the complex dependencies that arise on an information technology project, then sign up for our software at projectmanager.com.